President Obama is busy this week pushing a new set of economic plans. He's suggesting new tax business incentives and spending on infrastructure. Bill Galston served as a top domestic policy advisor in the Clinton White House. He's now a senior fellow with the Brookings Institution and joins us live from Washington to talk about the prospects for these proposals. Uh, Bill, when you hear uh, infrastructure spending and business tax incentives, uh, do you view this as the right form of stimulus and right not only for the economy, but the kind of stimulus that can make its way uh, through getting congressional approval? Well, first of all, I do think it is a sound and balanced package. Uh, we can argue about the timing. Many people think that it would have been better had it come significantly earlier. With regard to its political prospects, that depends very much on the Republicans. In principle, Things like making the R&D tax credit permanent and allowing expensing of investments for, for at least a certain period are the sorts of things that they've been pushing for for a long time. Uh, and in other less polarized times, less close to an election, they might go through with very strong bipartisan majorities. Uh, whether they'll choose to play the game that way this time is anybody's guess. Uh, the infrastructure proposals are much more complicated politically. I happen mm -hmm. to support them quite strongly, but many Republicans do not. Well, putting that aside for the moment, um, when you look at the narrative up until very recently, there had been a lot of concern about adding to the deficit, further spending, and really it seemed like the onus had been put on the shoulders of the Fed to get the economy going once again through monetary policy. Is you know pushing this kind of agenda the best way to be stimulating the economy right now? Well. There has been a lot of discussion to the effect that asking the Fed to do everything is asking the Fed to do too much. Mm -hmm. And that going forward, we will need a balance between fiscal and monetary policy. It seems to me that's pretty much the standard position among economists from the center left to the center right. We can argue about the balance between them, uh, but there is more work to be done on both sides, it seems to me. Well, in looking at uh, the Wall Street Journal and looking at polls from the ABC as well, you see statistics that say things like, you know, 61% of those polled uh, say that the country is generally on the wrong track, not even specifically as uh, uh, it relates to the economy. That leads you to headlines like the one in Politico that says uh, really they're looking to blow out laws for Democrats that could rival the Republican Revolution of 1994. Is that mm -hmm. the kind of thing you're expecting in November? Well, it's certainly a possibility. Uh, you mentioned up front that I was in the Clinton White House, and I yeah. remember November of 1994 pretty vividly. Exactly why uh, I asked those, you that. And those 52 House losses. Look, just looking at the raw numbers there's uh, from the surveys and other sources, there's no question about the fact uh, that big Democratic losses are well within the range of possibility. And whether they materialize is going to depend, I think, less on the national narrative and more on the ability of individual Democrats in tough races uh, to frame the race as a choice between themselves and, and the other person. Uh, if this election is waged purely on the basis of the public's evaluation of national economic conditions, then the Democrats are in big trouble, no question about it. Mm -hmm. uh, but then it leads you to conversations about, you know, not only people like Sarah Palin, but perhaps this choice that there's just, there's something better than, than the establishment right now, a support for a, a third way. Uh, do you believe that we're going to see uh, that kind of voting pattern in November? <laughs> uh, not immediately, because most of the energy now is not in the center, as was the case with Perot voters in 1992, mm -hmm. but among conservative Republicans. The Tea Party people are not a center insurgency. They are conservative Republicans who are trying to bring the Republican back, the Republicans back from what they consider to be the erroneous ways of the Bush administration. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it's, it's interesting to get your perspective. Uh, thank you so much, Bill, for joining us today.